Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'll hopefully be making your life easier when dealing with permissions plugins for Minecraft. Today we'll be taking a look at B permissions 1.2.5 for Bucket. Um, and to make your life and my life easier, please add your M Minecraft username to ops.txt in your root server folder. And I already have mine in there, as you can see, it's right there, so make sure you add yours there and save it. Um, to get started, you are going to go to the B permissions dev page which you can search yourself I don't know why you'd be you'd be here if uh, if you didn't know how to get this plugin uh, you just hit download and you're gonna take it from your download folder and put it into your minecraft plugins folder so we're gonna do that now just like that and then we are going to give the server a quick run just so uh, the plugins.jar can create the folders and files that we'll need to configure it uh, and there we go, It's we can see it's been loaded, so we can just exit out right now. Uh, go into our plugins folder, and it has created a B permissions folder in our plugins folder as well. So we're going to go into that. And here we have our config file. Um, most of that is good. You can change how you uh, enter commands into to B permissions, but we'll let, leave that alone for now. There's no point in making things more complicated. Go into our worlds folder. And here are our two worlds. I have uh, another world set up and uh, an actual world set up. And today we're just going to be taking a look at our world.yml folder. Um, world under uh, nether is essentially the same thing, um, unless you want to change change things for there. But today we're just going to go through world.yml to make it simple and easy. So when we open world.yml, we see here that we have just two brackets that is it nothing else um, this makes it a little little tougher on to get started but it should be pretty simple um, I found B permissions to be simple to understand compared to most permissions plugin which is what I'm showing you today it's a very good plugin to get started in um, and it's simple to use easy easy to understand um, and it has two main parts that we're gonna look at it has the group section where you define a set of permission nodes and the user section where you define which set of nodes that you should have. So you'll you'll say this user belongs to this and this group, and the group you'll say this group has these and these and these commands. Pretty simple. So in our world.yml folder, we start to default, and our default group that a user will be brought into is going to be called user, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to go down, and we're going to have our groups. So this is where we define our groups. And we're going to do one, two, three, four spaces. Now in uh, Notepad++, I have it automatically set up. So when I hit tab, it'll add four spaces instead of the, the common tab. So if you see my cursor jump ahead on the screen, you'll know why it's actually four spaces, not a tab. Make sure you are using four spaces. Um, tabs will break your permissions. They will not work. You'll go insane. Use spaces, not tabs. All right, so now that we have our groups here, we're going to start with our first group, which is our default group, user just like that and we are going to define which commands this this group has here all right now that we have our list of commands that we want uh, the default group to have um, we have here help MOTD list compass message command rules home set home spawn and warp so they can use all of these commands um, we are going to set which commands the moderators have here so we'll speed ahead again now that we have set the moderator commands we're going to go ahead and set the admin commands and this one is a bit different we are going to give the admins let me fix that mod there uh, we are going to give the mids admins every single command so to do that we do dash space and then the star just like that and the star def makes it so um, that the permissions plugin takes all of the commands and gives them all to the admins so they have every single permission that would ever come through through the permissions plugin so when you add a new plugin it'll automatically get those permissions and we're gonna do that because most admins are trusted um, and they probably deserve uh, most of the commands if you'd like you can add another group um, and call them admins and then have owners or you know do whatever you want rename them to whatever you want um, but this is what we're going to use for now um, and 
These nodes can be found in most plugins forum post or wiki page. Um, today I have Essentials here and you can see in my plugins folder I have Essentials and Essentials spawn. Um, so that's why I'm using all these Essentials nodes. And here we have the Essentials wiki page or whatever this is, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I guess it's the wiki page. And we can see we have all their commands and their permissions for those commands right there and all the way down there. Um, so that's where I'm getting all these nodes from. I went through and picked the ones that I would want to give to my users. So now that we have our list of commands for each group set, we are going to define um, players. So we're going to go back, so we're right against the edge now, and write players. And we're going to do that four spaces there. And now we're going to start by defining our players. So here we have me. And with me, we are going to give admin permissions. Okay, and then we're going to say notch. Oops, make sure I have the colon there. And we're going to give him the moderator and the user permissions. And then we will have a random user. And they will receive the user permissions. Now, the reason we give um, our not the, the player notch mod and user permissions or we assign them to that those two groups is because they're going to need all the permissions from a user so they're still going to need to be able to use the help commands the warp commands the spawn commands but they're also going to need to use the kick item um, teleport all these other commands to complete their job um, when we come to me, you see I only have just admin there, but that's that's because I have every single permission, which means I have every single command. So there's no need to give me mod and user groups as well. Um, and doing this will assign these players their permissions. Um, so now that we have our permissions set up, we can go ahead and save it and exit out. Uh, you can go to your server and go ahead and run your server now. Okay, so everything's good. All right, so that's going to be all for today. Um, I can go more in depth with this plugin or move on to some other plugin, whether it be another permissions plugin or something else to do with setting up your Minecraft server. Um, you can go ahead and comment on this video below or and either contact me on Twitter at Chris O'Neill Wood for more information. I'll put all this information in the uh, description box below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have a great day.